Mystery Mask. There's a strange phenomena where people have reported twisted versions of Grimask invading their dreams with gaping yellow teeth and huge swaggering arms. <laughs> that thing is terrifying! Seriously! Just imagine that thing coming into your dreams. Yeah, that's nightmare fuel. Oh god, no. Okay, well, um... I think I'm really quickly gonna make a quick visit. No, we don't need to. All I need is a few more HP cakes and everything is fine. Uh, at least Kodas to the front. I'm afraid if you start throwing stuff out like that, about what your friends might throw out to me. Like, there's still two more remaining, I believe? Hi, Seraphase, please die. You will never evolve. I swear to God. And I love the power. No, but... We have got to be a little bit more afraid of these guys if they start using glass cannon and whatnot. Might have to level up a little bit. And Cypher increases potential. Um... I'm really starting to think that I might have to pump some more stuff into your attack stats. But for now, more HP. In the future, we might increase its attack. I don't know what to do with Cypher. Alright, three ways to go. Uh, let's go... Eeny, mini miny, mo. Grab the... Uh, eeny, mini miny, mo. Grab the tiger by a toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, mini miny, mo. I don't know. Well, apparently this is the right way. Hi, triple. Can you go away, please? Thank you. Oh, and you've got that... The same trait as that Seraph face. Having more HP, but un being unable to flee. Which I still want to test out. I should do that. And that's Amarillo up to 28 as well. Thank you. Gotta love those sloth gems. Alright, this is the way to go. This is a way to go to treasure. Oh, don't mind if I do. I still think these jump boards are sweet. Okay, don't run too far, you're gonna run off the ledge. Golden spinners, thank you. And we got ourselves stinky scent and fear scent. Well, it's something. What? Can attract already if helped by your leading squad member. Does that mean it's in effect right now? Because... Oh yeah, it is Kona. That Drupal did not have the same ability as the Seraphase that we have. No, it just was hurt by my fear scent. I'll take it. Oh, uh, and that brings me right here. Okay, well, down is the way to go then. Hi, Armadale. Please die. And that is Kona up to 28. Gotta love it. Almost a little bit more potential. And no one else? Nope. Well, let's switch things around again before we continue. Let's put Sparky in the front for now. Let him show its might. Oh, and there you are. Okay, be afraid of these lunatic... Well, worshippers. That's not an insult to you, illusion, but it kind of is. Maybe a little bit. And that's not enough to kill you. Yeah, don't you dare go all in, because I will go all in on you. I still like its design. Pirate Chick is cute. And I wish I had it. And that's Frizzle up to 30. Nice. Okay, special defense remains to be increasing quite amazingly. Love it. When would he do when would my Cormon learn new moves by the way? Let's see. AC or Sparky learns a status poison move at level 30. Not too brilliant. Frizzle learns a wind or air move at 33. Nice. Muppet has uh 32 a fiscal sand move. Amarillo has a Fiscal move at 29, so Amarillo is the closest. Koda also has a move at 
30 physical normal and Cypher meanwhile has precision punch. When did you learn this? I don't even remember you learning this. Hit the target in the weak spot with a 50% chance to increase critical hit chance by one stage. Uh, that's more powerful than face slap. It's more powerful than slam. I'm going to remove slam. I'm going to insert precision punch. Thank you. And you'll learn a status move at level 30. Which is still far away, but soon enough. And also means... Uh, Okay, Muppets had the potential points. Yeah, only Muppets. And you have three points remaining. I say... You need more defense. You definitely need more defense. Alright, let's see. What have we got towards the right over here? This feels like a trap. It's not a trap. Ooh, ropes. Nice! Okay, I do want that. Um, I do lose out. It's an outfit. Do I still have the... I don't have the magnet hat. It's like the entire outfit set. Okay, interesting. Um, I kind of like that. But what I do want right now... Give me a cake. Thank you. Coda, please be healed up. What I want to know, does this affect these priests? Can I walk by them now? Because I have this. I cannot walk past them when I have this. What? You made it past the first halls already. Well, uh, you won't get much further. I will get much further, Simon. Ooh, you've got four Coromon. Okay, a bit terrifying, and you've got a Purgy. A potent Purgy, right? Yep, I'm starting to recognize the potent ones. All right, I think I'm gonna inner piece this. You're gonna concentrate. What? Well, concentrate all you want. Uh, I do have to worry about that kitty claw thing. Definitely gotta worry about you. All right, let's boost ourselves up as much as we can, and then go for the kill. All right, here we go. Kitty claws doing a decent amount of damage, but. That was like 15% for each hit, right? And it will hit one to three times, so you can't kill me with it. Ghastly nap. Okay. Don't you decrease my accuracy! Do not decrease my accuracy! Don't you dare! Okay, uh, we're gonna go for the kill here. Quattles all the way, we have boosted up four times. This should be powerful enough. Kill this thing, please. Oh, of course, of course. Just one accuracy drop is all it takes. Yeah. Kill this thing, please. Quickly, Sparky. Thank you. Thank you. All right, what else are you going to throw at me? Sparky up 29. Thank you. Love the special attack increase. And anyone else? No, Cypher? No? All right. Jinx. That's what you look like. That's awesome. Still, though, I'm much more of a dog person, and I like Luna Wolf much more than you. Though you are awesome. It really makes me wonder what other ghost types are still in the game that we haven't seen yet. Like, we've seen so many of them. I wouldn't be surprised if we've already encountered all of them at this point. Well, except for your evolutions as such, and Menacing is not going to do an awful lot for me, and that's an awesome potent one. Ah, oh, if only my Shimmer was potent. But you look awesome. You look dead as well, but you look awesome. Alright, and who is your last Coromon? Or, this was your last one already. Or do you still have a Lunar Pup remaining? Acid Rain. Acid rains from the sky, lowering the opponent's team's defense by two stages. That is not useful for Sparky at all. Like, we're a special attacker, and I don't see myself using this for 6 SP and then switching out to be hit in the face freely, just in order to decrease your defense by two stages. No, we're fine. And anyone else? No? No. Okay, last is a Lunar Puff. I was figuring that... Okay. 
Stop decreasing my attack. Why do you have all the potent ones? It means awesome, but you're making me jealous. Oh dear, oh dear. But yeah, that's a lot more manageable than having to face with a grim mask or whatever. And... Wasn't your... Sp your special defense is higher than your defense. Yet I put more points into special defense than defense and you're still more special... You've got more defense, how? Basically. Uh... Yeah, I'm... I'm going for the defensive side of things now. And that is that. Which means there's one more... ...priest remaining. Oh, my lord illusion! Is this an individual truly sent by you? Well, I guess? I mean... He, he did kind of send me, so yeah, I... Where else did I got a measure stone from, dude? Really? Okay, um, okay, I don't like that symbol. I do not like that symbol in the slightest. Uh, first things first though, what falls you out of the way please, thank you, goodbye. I am a little bit afraid of what awaits. Because that mark on the ground is the same marking, sort of, as with Foltgar, which means... Illusion lies beyond you. Um, I most definitely want Cypher to be at one more level. And if I have to make a guess, what level will Foltgar be? Uh, I really don't know. Um, I think I should be ready to face you, though. We know that this guy is basically the head honcho because there were four of them in total. Which most likely means he's the strongest out of all of them. Which makes me think uh, this might be a mistake, but I think I'm going to send out Koda first. Koda has the Phantom Spike move, which we can use to actually power up against his first few Coromon, assuming they're all ghosts, because every single one of them has been using ghost Coromon up until now. Phantom Spike will utterly destroy them for as much as we can. Meanwhile, we've got Snowball in case we need to knock someone down. Splash in case they are too strong or if he has a Sun and Fire Coromon. I hope this will work out. And if not, well, I can then always switch towards Frizzle to heal up and tank stall just a little bit. Uh, Sparky can also deal a fair bit of damage. I hope this will work out, basically. Oh, let's do this. Bartholomew. The Outsider! The one who somehow managed to acquire a Mesha Stone. Oh, dearest illusion, if this non-believer's quest is unjust, guide my hand in this most holy of battles. Please, illusion, guide my hand instead. I'm going to need it more than him. Mudma. That's the evolution to Drupal. Okay, that looks cool. Bit gross, but looks cool. You're? Shadewalker always moved first. Don't make me hazy. Don't... That's a critical hit. Don't make me hazy. Good job. Don't make me hazy. Okay. Um. Yeah. You won't hit me that hard again. You can't crit me again. Right? Don't make me hazy. Do not make me hazy. I swear. Alright. But you've got a canoe fruit? Really? Okay, please get a status effect. Thank you. That's actually useful. That means I'm going to... How much do I need? Uh, probably... How much do I need? A fair bit. Okay, this might be a waste, but I'm gonna go for a combi cake. Koda needs the health. It's enough to heal up. And get the SP back. And then I can Phantom Spike you again. You will remain to be asleep, right, Magma? There we go, that's fine. You are very speedy though, I gotta say. For a goopy monster like you, I did not expect that, but I will take the critical hit and I will take the damage increase. Thank you. Alright, if you're gonna throw out that to me with a lot of experience, thank you. Um, what do I want to increase? I... I am thinking. Definitely more defense. 
and up to 29. Awesome. All right, what else are you going to throw at me? That's Frizzle up to 31. Love it. Okay, Amarillo? No. Cypher? Cypher. And Oligy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. That really should not be a problem. Well, fully rested could be a problem. But it can't be a problem, right? That's what I mean. That's plus four attack increased right now. Oh, you're so dead. You're gonna be so dead. Although I don't want to, I don't want to celebrate too early, because you know stuff can go horribly wrong. Okay, a rot. Hi, Orochi. Okay, uh, you got you grew an extra hand and uh, yeah, five eyes. You're terrifying. You are ta You're at level 28 and you've got 109 health? Oh my god. Um, have a phantom spike, please. How much damage is this going to do? Oh, thank god. That is terrifying. Like, I pumped how much extra points into my health with Coda? Seriously. Ooh, revenge. Strike the targets. The lower the use HP, the more damage is inflicted. Uh, I don't see that as being useful for my current setup, so no thanks. Okay, do you have another Coromon remaining? Amarillo awakes some potential. Uh, special defense. And Amarillo grew to level 29. Berserk. The user goes berserk for four rounds, increasing damage dealt after each successful attack. Damage returns to normal when the user calms down. Oh, that locks you into this. That feels like a very bad idea, honestly. Well, normally it might be useful, but for my sake, I do not want to lock myself in. No, no thank you. Okay, uh, Squidly. I want to know right now, can I take a look? I pumped 11 extra points into health. And that Orochi thing still out healed me. Or with health. God. Just terrifying, honestly. Well, anyway, uh, Squidly, don't you dare poison me. Really. And this is just insult to injury. But the insult to me, the injury to you. Phantom Spike is an amazing pickup for us. Yeah, our attack can't increase any higher. No, of course not. Oh boy. But uh, this fight does make me worry about one very big thing. Oh, my defeat is apparent. You may be the one prophesied to complete the task. We, we will not disturb you anymore. Has in peace, and we will pray for your... Uh, our success. Obviously, yes. The thing is, you had a level 20... Eight, Coromon. When I think back to the power tower, the highest enemy trainer Coromon I faced there was level 20, I believe. And Voltgar ended up being five levels higher. If you've got a 28 level Coromon on your party, and I'm gonna have to face Illusion, what do I expect Illusion's level to be? I am actually going to guess and assume that he might be at either level 33, which would be an odd number, or he's going to be at 35. And if that is the case, if he is at 35, and if he is beyond here, I am 100% going to have to do a fair bit of grinding, because I do not, like with Voltgar, want to end up being several levels below him. We lost Matador to him. Matador could have maybe survived. And with a ghost titan, I honestly am quite terrified. So, um, I'm going to save right here. I'm going to walk through that door. If we are instantly thrown into a battle with Fault... Uh, with Fault Guy. If we are instantly thrown into a battle with Illusion... Uh, I am going to reset and I'm going to go back because I do not intend to fight him right now. I just hope that there might be a checkpoint just up ahead. So, 
Right after this score one battle, right after we utterly annihilate this Otogi. You look so cute right now with that single eye. Orochi is horrifying, just like Grimask. Seriously, the ghost Coromon in this game get terrifying. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. And that's Frizzle up to 32. Love it! But no, we're walking through this door. We hope for a checkpoint. We hope for a checkpoint. Thank God. That would make our future attempt. I did not want to move forward. Okay, bye, Measure Stone. I'll see you some other day. Good luck in the next life. And yeah, I'm out of here. No, this next battle is really making me quite afraid. Like, at least with Fault God, we had a proper setup with Muppet being able to actually take his attacks and taking a lot less damage from the, all the electricity. And we had Sparky as a wall to deal with those same attacks. Uh, the problem here is that I can't use Ghost Coromon because they will die. And meanwhile, sure, we have got that Phantom Spike move, but how much is Phantom Spike actually going to do against Voltcar? It's 55 base power, which would be boosted twice, so it is powerful and might be more powerful than any of my other moves. I will agree with that. Uh, but the thing is, it's still not amazing. We don't get the increased attack boost because there's nothing to kill during that battle. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do a tiny bit of training and... Okay, to make sure that I don't over level, I am going to see what level Illusion will be. I won't look at anything else, I will just look at what level he will end up being. Just to make sure that it's not level 33 and I'm going to fight him with 35 Coromon. So g give me a moment. All right, I come back with information, and indeed, the level of illusion will be 35. Which means I am going to have to train everyone up a little bit, and I am going to train them up towards level 35. I mainly wanted to know this so that I wouldn't indeed over-level to the point where it's like, yeah, he is 33 and I'm two levels above him with all of my Coromon, and that would really take out any kind of challenge, so... 35 will do the job. I still am not fully safe. And oh, likewise, that also brings up the question of what the hell do we do about Illusion? Because the point still stands. Sure, we might now have that Phantom Spike move, but Amarillo and Cypher both are problematic, to say the least. Amarillo might have a lot of defense, but... Yeah special defense if illusion like Voltgar starts using special attacking moves like that spark disc which i believe is a special attacking move amarillo will die and likewise cypher what's cypher actually going to do in a battle against ghost titan this is what i was referring to in the past where we might would well where we would Quite possibly, in the future, see quite a team change. And I think that moment has arrived right now. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to Amarillo and to Cypher. And we're gonna have to get two new Coromon for our team. But that does beg the question, who will join our team and what will our strategy be? Last time with Voltgar, we had quite a success in using Muppet and Poison Chomp and such. That worked out quite well. Poison might not be the strongest out there, like, for example, if I were to use Frizzle and try and put Illusion to sleep, maybe that would be more useful, but I would have to put him to sleep multiple times, and this is a 70% accuracy whip might be total hell for me. Uh, I like the idea of Poison, and I think I've got at least one idea for the Poison department. It's going to take a lot of training, but... Humbug. We know that the Humbug line, or the, the Swermy line, they've got access to Venomous Beasts. Guaranteed poisoning. It's a normal type. If I can at least, for example, train up Humbug, because he's potent, and I like it. 
If he can get that first hit off with the Venomous Beast, we will poison Illusion. And then we can switch Humbug out or continue attacking if we want to, depending on what he exactly learns in the future as he levels up. Uh, it could be a powerhouse and it could be the guaranteeing poisoning that we need to slowly decrease Illusion's special attack. Sparky as a result can work with Inner Peace afterwards, maybe with Quadfold, or we could send out Muppets and actually deal with Phantom Spikes, Quicksand. Frizzle could work with the draining and slowly damaging him over time. Frizzle is our tank, and if he keeps that draining and the energy drain up and Frozen Spike, it could work. But, that means Humbug needs to be trained up, and we need one more Cormon for our team. Who also will need to be fully trained up, and I am actually thinking... I want to go with Sandy. Sandy, too, right now, might not be the strongest out there. Well, he most certainly isn't the strongest out there. But, reconstructs. I don't know what else he's going to learn. He's special physical mixed and such. But if we get him to 35, he at least gets another physical sand move. So that's good. But reconstruct. Reconstruct themselves with sand. Recovering 15% HP and increasing its defense by one stage. If I pump all my special stats into special defense for this thing. While well, he decreases or increases his own defense and will keep on healing. He will out heal the poison of illusion. Maybe. I just, I just like the idea of a wall. So yeah, Sandy and Humbug both are going to join the team. And I am going to do a very big training session to get these two up to 35. And likewise, the rest of the team. So, I am keeping the possibility of an evolution open. But I'll be sure to record my reaction to them if and when they happen. Which means, cue the montage music. It's time to get everyone battle ready and up to level 35. Um, okay, I was expecting this to happen at some point. Not yet right now, though. Oh, boy. Final evolution of Koda. <laughs> Koda evolved into... Barry Alice. I love it. Hold up, there are also triple battles. Okay, that's a little bit terrifying. But luckily, Frizzle can handle it. Oh, and lesson of the day. The aroma module does not work inside of a cave. Oh, Muppet, you too? You too? Oh, boy. You're just gonna get even longer, aren't you? You're gonna get even bloody longer. Oh, my God. Say hello to Duck Terra. My very own noodle murder machine. Well, would you look at that? A potent Mino. A Mino that I can use. And you know what? Seeing how I gave my potent bustlet away, I'll get a new one for myself. And we shall name you... Dynamo. You too, Sparky! You too! Oh god, no. 
Well, oh god, yes, obviously, but... Oh, our little sparky ball of lightning is evolving into its very own killer cloud. Hello, DC. Wait, AC, DC, really? And in order to evolve our humbug, I think it's fitting to kill a pad a bit while we're rage all the way to the max. And I gotta say, humbug, you do look pretty good in yellow. And your bezel form will look equally as nice. Oh, you sneaky little bugger, that's where you've been hiding in Woodlow Forest. Well, now I know. Either it's a very rare spawn in general, or it's limited to this very grass patch. Dear oh dear. Hold up, Humbug also gets feelers? Humbug is getting powerful. I was actually starting to wonder whether or not Beasel still had an evolution. Apparently he does. Oh boy. Our bee is growing up. Really? Okay, I swear I did not know this thing would be called Humbee when I named it Humbug. That's just a coincidence. Dear God, look at that. That stinger. Oh my God. You're a murder machine. Oh, hi. Potent Fibio. Please join my team. Thank you. There we go. That's actually our first water type. Hell yeah. Um, super drain. Deal damage and drain HP for half damage done. That's a better drain. Oh, I never expected you to be this amazing, Humbug. Oh dear god, this is not working. Um, we are going to need to go to plan B. With plan B being the same as plan A, but this time around, however, we let Amarillo do the heavy lifting. Ah, oh, Sandy is not easy to be trained up. Wait, you two Amarillo? Here I am, training up Sandy with a sloth gem, only to have Huey evolve! I was not prepared for this. Uh, Amarillo? Oh, <laughs> Amarillo evolved into Armadon. Oh boy. Honestly, that is what we call a happy little accident. And I'm very happy with it. Sandy, whatever you evolve into, I do hope you have a little bit more strength, because I know that being Sandy makes it harder for you to attack, but dear oh dear. There we go, finally. Please tell me, grow stronger, grow more powerful. I don't care whether or not it's attack, whether or not it's special attack. You're growing arms, that's a good sign. Hello, Molbash. Well, hopefully you can bash the opponent's face in. Oh, you most definitely can. Boulder Barrage. Cause Barrage of Boulders to fall down on the target. There's a 20% chance to knock down the target. Yeah, I have a feeling this is finally going to work out. Ooh, hey, 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 potent Slitherpin. Yeah, I'll take you home as well. Oh, and a potent Lampire. Hell yeah. Dust storm. Damage all foes with a frenzy dust storm. Would be helpful in case Sandy actually was a special attacker. But he's not. And there we go. That is Sandy finally to level 35. 
learning Stone Fist. Attack with a Rocky Fist. If damage is taken this round, the power is doubled. This attack always goes last. Ooh, I do like the sound of that quite a bit. But yeah, with that done, please get me out of this swamp. Oh, what might have taken a few minutes for all of you turned out to be more like three to four hours for me. Especially because Sandy really did not want to be trained up that nicely. The early levels were a pain. But yeah, Sandy is pretty decent, I'd say. Mostly an attacker with a very good defensive line. So what I'm thinking is we've got a few points available. Um... I like the fact that he can attack, but I still think with that reconstruct, it would be nice if he have as, has as much HP and defense as possible, and then he can just survive through everything. So, uh, let me redistribute these points as well as I can. There we go, 85 health and 75 defense and special defense. Love it. Next up, Frizzle. Mostly focused around, just right now still... A very nice special defense. Defense itself is pretty on the low side, but uh, I'm really thinking you're going to end up becoming quite the strong attacker, possibly. Like if we look at your base stats, special attack through the roof. Um, I'm going to need you in the upcoming battle, and you're going to need to be quite strong, and currently your special attack is lacking, so three extra points there. Thank you very much, Frizzle. Next up, Koda. Loving how this looks, loving that HP, that attack is glorious. And in regards to the extra points being spent, yeah, I'm saying one extra point is special defense and the rest all in attack. Then we've got Muppet, our very, very long noodle. Uh, still a mixed attacker in the long run, but you've got six points available as well. Now your base stats are just, it's glorious. But I'm really thinking the defenses. The defenses need to go up. So all in normal defense right now. And Sparky, look at that special attack. Out of everyone, that's the highest I've got. Sparky is insane right now. And with a very good defense. So three points. Uh, I'm thinking really HP. Or just more special attack. I'm gonna say more special attack. You are my powerhouse. And then we've got Humbug. Very powerful in the attack department. Which is a surprise. I really did not expect that. Special attack though on the really low side. And sure. It, Humbug might have super drain. But that's a special move. I thought this would be amazing. For the upcoming fight. But it... It might turn out to not actually be that great. So, yeah. Normal defense sucks. Which means... Uh, I'm gonna pump this up a little bit. Um, let's pump this up to 60. And then the rest... Probably in an attack, maybe. I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 6, like that. Makes Humbug a little bit tankier, and hopefully that will work out nicely. So, that's our current team setup that we've got right now, which we will be using in a fight against Illusion. Uh, we've also got a lot of milestones, which I will very quickly claim. Mind the level, we're level 31, let's see how far we get. That is 30 times the Brawler milestone you can see how much i grind it ah anyway next up all the rest and we started at 31 right yeah that's quite a lot oh dear oh dear it helps if you fight the lower level coromon if you want to make your own coromon survive while training so we've got a few stinky sense we've got some combi cake large might be useful uh, we've got special defense cake. We've got a lot of gold. Very happy with that. Uh, ground spinner? Ground spinner. Defense cake small. Thank you. 
Phoenix stones, which are completely useless to me. We've got a, we've got a platinum spinner. Nice. Well, that means we can use one of them. And ooh, another skill flash. Sixty-eight. I'll keep that in mind. And uh, Lux Recall Plus. Okay. I'm gonna have to take a look at those two. Uh, and some bird fruit. Thank you. Okay. Show me what those things are. Lux Recall Plus. Recall to any teleporter. Uh, is that a, is that a one-time use thing? That is not a one-time use thing. I have a permanent teleporter available. If I want to go to Luxolus, I can go there. Oh, that is awesome, and I can keep on using it. Or I completely wasted it right now, and it is indeed gone. But it isn't. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be. It's not. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, I like that a lot. And we also got Skill Flash 68, which is Fiery Breath, which no one can learn. Well, that sucks. Anyway, um, yeah. As you guys have noticed, we captured a few potent Coromon. And some of those potent Coromon still need a name. But uh, before we give anyone any name, uh, I also picked up all the key for the time being because he also still needs a name. Uh, this Mino. It's not for us, we've already got our own Mino, although I do am kind of curious about what your potential is. Let's see, potential for Wild Bill was 18, and potential for this new Mino is also 18. That is absolutely perfect. But our new Wild Bill is going to have a new owner. I mean, in the end, this is not exactly going to do an awful lot for us, but hey, this guy really wanted to Mino, so let's give it to him. Chuck. So, did you find a Mino to trade for my Buzzy? I sure did, friend. Enjoy this potent Mino. Oh, that is an adorable Mino. I'll gladly trade my Buzzy for it. Yeah, you're getting the better deal out of this, Chuck. Definitely. And I got myself a Buzzy, which will not be used. Thank you. Please take good care of my Buzzy. Of course, Buzzy is in very good hands, totally. Awesome. I'm off to train my new Mino in Radiant Park. Perhaps we'll meet again. Could I find him in Radiant Park where he's training right now? Maybe. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, he gave us a Buzzy, which is... Eh, it apparently has a decent potential. Ooh, slippery Corm uh, the slip uh, this slippery Cormon has a 25% increased chance to dodge status changing moves. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Not sure if that's better than Strategist. That might actually be better than Strategist. Ooh, interesting. So what would this Buzzy's potential be? It was high, but uh, 15. That is decent, but not the best out there. So. We're going to put you right into the storage. Oh, and while we're here, I instantly want to quickly check out something that I want to, f to do for a while right now. Our Isaac. He's got that very strange trait, and he is still hurt right now. Because of that strange trait. I want to know if Isaac can actually flee from a wild Cormon battle, or if he is indeed as fearless as he thinks he is, and is stuck in combat. So... Let's see if we can find a weak Coromon. Alright, here we go. Wild Silkwell. Isaac, can you flee from this thing? Yes or no? The Coromon ref refuses to run from any fight and his max HP is increased. Yeah, this is not brilliant. Let's just say that. So, you could actually die. If you don't have an attacking move, Isaac is dead. That honestly is horrible. Well, Isaac, enjoy your stay in the storage till the day we end up changing your trait to something a little bit less deadly for me. Now that leaves us with the few potent Coromon that we caught that still need a name, starting with Slitherpin. It's kind of cool with the whole blue gem going on. It's not too amazing, the spike body could be useful, but yeah... But that begs the question, what name do we give a little snake like this? Okay, 
this is gonna be a silly one, but Slurpin, I'm gonna name you Serpent. You're of royalty with that gem on top of your head. It's just like your little crown. Hello, Serpent. Now for Lampire. I love the way you look, by the way. Just a tad bit darker than the original form. Uh, mostly a special attack by the looks of things right now. Lots of points of special defense. Um, Swarm Division is horrible to fight against. That dropping of the accuracy level by two stages. This thing is good. If anyone in my team dies, like Sparky for example, I might actually exchange Sparky with Lampire. Um, bright Light is a little bit less good. The Corbin emanates a bright light blocking Twilight and lighting up caves. Might want to change this in the future, but... Uh, Lampire... What do we nickname you? I think because of your golden appearance, I'm naming you... Glomgold. And that brings us to our Ologi. Interesting fella, for sure. Still not sure what to think of you. You're a bit creepy, especially with your Orochi evolution. Um, what do we name you? The whole thing with the masks kind of reminds me of uh, some kind of spirits. I'm not entirely sure what they actually were, but I think, Orogi, I'm going to name you Orokami. And that brings us to our very first water type. Looking absolutely awesome, this Fibio. A little bit sad it's not a Tattle. I would have loved to have a Tattle, but hey, this works out nicely as well. Um, let's see, what have you got? Slam, ignore pain, slush. Throw a little snowball at the target, dealing damage and increasing the user's accuracy by one stage. Oh, so you increase your own accuracy with this and decrease it with this. Bloody hell. That's bothersome. <laughs> ah, but yeah. Uh, what else do you have? Humidifier. The Cormon makes it rain upon entering a battle. This thing might actually be very powerful, especially if we end up facing against the Sand Titan. I'm not sure when we will end up facing him, because I think every typing will have a Titan, although I'm not entirely sh too sure about the normal typing. But there will be a Sand Titan, and you, Fibio, could be absolutely amazing for that. But that again begs the question, what do we name you... I'm thinking I'm going to name you Rhyme. And with that done, we swap back towards our own team. Koda, Muppet, Frizzle, Humbug, Sandy and Sparky. With Humbug going towards the front, because he'll be the most useful with the whole poisoning thing. Uh, I am a little bit curious, though, about what their data entries say. Starting with Barry Alice. Barry Alice live in the remote Batavi Mountains. The body is covered with tough ice which never seems to melt. Well, that's what happens if you keep on packing snow on your body, it eventually it turns into ice. And you become a true powerhouse with that in mind, don't you? Still pretty mixed though. It's interesting. Barry Alice is pretty intriguing. Let's say that. And then we've got Humby. Due to being hunted in the past, Humby are quite docile. They especially love belly rubs, but their once rambunctious nature comes out with their venomous stinger. This thing loves belly rubs. I mean, it's a bee. I'm terrified of it, but that is kind of adorable. Yeah, especially if you think away that big massive stinger, but <laughs> dear oh dear. Definitely a speedy attacker. Very low on the defense, though. You will be very frail. And then Armadon. Armadon roll around at blazing fast speeds. The only thing sharp enough to damage their armor are the claws of another Armadon. <laughs> that just sounds so bloody awesome. And look at that defense. Higher than the attack. God, I love this thing. Very happy to have you on my team. Well, not right now. You are in the storage to stay safe. But yeah, I love you. And then we've got Dukterra, the longest noodle around. Dukterra snuggle their young, often dozens, with their long body underground, providing them with ample warmth and comfort. Again, you look pretty creepy at times, but that is actually adorable. And high attack, high special attack, low defense, special defense, and HP. Yeah. You are so going to die in the future, aren't you? You totally are. 
and then DC. I still love this naming. AC, DC. Ah, glorious. DC float through the skies during thunderstorms, growing in power by absorbing lightning strikes. Sometimes they expel lightning on unfortunate passersby. Oof. Yeah, that is painful. And high special attack. Still pretty in intrigued by the defense of special defense. Really liking that, although you will need a lot of points into your health. But that's awesome. And let's see who else did we have. Mole Bash. Mole Bash can twist and warp its body to add maximum momentum to its punches. Triple cross countering any attack like a famous boxer. Yeah, well, okay then. High in attack, high in special defense. Love it. Oh, I'm surprised it's high in special defense and not high in defense. Well, defense is still high, but that's still brilliant. Anyway, with that out of the way now, I think we're almost ready. The last two things we need to do is, for one, get ourselves new gauntlets. Hello, what can I do for you? Uh, I have got this gauntlet coupon. Found it in some kind of weird underground haunted mansion thing. It's probably ancient. Oh, certainly. I'll take that, please. These creepy priests and their gauntlet coupons. I love it. Oh, let's see what gauntlet you will receive with this coupon. Oh, a golden panabit green one. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I'll come back anytime if you obtain more coupons. Shine bright. Yeah, you don't like the fact that you're gonna have to give away all these golden ones. I want that one. I still would have liked to see a red one, but hey, this is pretty sweet as well. I'll take it. Uh, anyway, last thing on our list of things to do is to actually stock up on cakes and whatnot. I mean, Amarillo has done a pretty good job with the hot with gathering some cakes here and there, but it's still not amazing. And likewise, do I really want to stock up on all the special or all the status move changes of these cakes? So let's see what we can spend in regards to our money in Parbury. All right, am I going to be facing anything that's going to burn me in the very nearby future? Not yet, I think. So I will be safe with just getting five of you. Uh, lifted cake curse could be happening, so I'll I'll go to ten in total for you. Spicy cake with freezing not gonna happen either, I believe. So five of you, there we go. Uh, clear cake haziness might happen. Up to ten in total. Detox cake, I could maybe use a few of those as well. Um, maybe a few less. I'll go with five. Uh, ground cake shock, I'll I'll get two, and cafe cake sleep, I'll get five. That is fine. That means still a little bit of money remaining, which we can spend entirely on HP cake large, and it is a massive waste of money, maybe, but it will be worth it. That's all our money gone. Um, would I want anything else? Uh. I'll go for one of these as well. There we go. And 273 remaining. Can I still buy something for that? I'll buy one more cafe cake. Awesome. And then, let the magic happen. Yes, I would like to use one of your coupons. 75% off. Thank you. Let's see. You've spent a lot of money with... And with a 75% off coupon, you get a lot of money back. Is that okay? Hell yeah. Enjoy your discount. I will. Have a nice day. Uh, do I want to buy even more? Like... Uh, this should hopefully be enough. Right? Uh, let's hope so. Anyway, with that all out of the way... It's time to go. And face the ghost titan himself. Illusion, we've come to bargain. The big guy spent a lot of time to train everyone up, but all that does is make it hurt even more if Illusion drags one of our friends down into the grave. Hopefully everyone will survive, but with Titans you'll never know the outcome. <laughs>